Good morning. Sorry, that was really cringe. Welcome to full day. Welcome to full day meeting number one. We're gonna do the series. It's about one a month is my plan, and show you full days meeting here in Toronto, Edmonton, Vancouver, Russia, airports, all over the place. Maybe give you some healthy food ideas. Maybe give you some soul food ideas. I want you guys to be a part of this series as much as possible. So I'd love to hear what you guys would name it. I don't want to just call it full day of eating because that's not exactly right. It's gonna show full days of eating. Yes, in Toronto while I'm flying in airports healthy meal ideas all that but most importantly i want to show like culture and the love and passion of food so whether it be full day of eating while in italy or spain or new york or toronto or wherever the case is i just can't think of a name as of now it's full day of eating but i would love to hear down in the comments what would you guys like this series to be called and it kind of encompasses nutrient dense food and the soul food travel all that so let me hear down in the comments yeah it's a full day of eating so a full day of eating, you will see. Coffee in the belly, and now we're gonna go work out. I feel if I eat in the morning, I don't enjoy it. If I go work out, do something active, even just a walk, and then I come back and eat, I can sit and enjoy and savor, and I got more of an appetite. Because I don't like to eat when I'm not hungry. Seems logical. Also, I'm going to start showing you guys my workouts if you want that. It's like behind the scenes of the challenge. Some things I'm working right now are correcting my APT, getting a stronger glute and core for athletic performance, posture, and like abs, but I'm kind of basic. I'm allowed to be a little. I'm working on flexibility because of the big challenge I have long term, getting the splits, and I'm also working on handstands, and I'm doing a yoga challenge right now. So that's kind of the core of my workouts. And this is Bob. We don't like Bob. Don't do that. I missed completely. <laughs> Retry that. Mm. These are a little, a little stale. <laughs> Close. In love with the cocoa. It's inappropriate. I'm referring to cocoa powder, which is high in iron and fat. We temporarily interrupt this program to give you guys the idea to stay accountable on your fitness journey when you're traveling and some tips on how I too. Kelt, you home? Come in. Hello? Time to wake up. Have you gone to the gym yet? No. You, you've laid on the couch all day. You've done nothing but. I'm traveling, I'm on vacation, I don't have a gym membership, it's minus 30, I don't want to go outside. I'm not asking you to go to a CrossFit class, I'm saying have you just moved your body? Have you moved your body at all? No, and I don't want to! Come on! Jump up! Just, just 
one small thing. Uh, why isn't there an app for this? There's literally an app for everything. You're always doing those like 30 day challenges. There's gotta be some app for that. You're not that original of a thinker. Fine, if I can find an app that says 30 days to fitness, I'll go work out. 30 day fitness challenge. There's an app called 30 day fitness challenge. 30 day workout challenge, okay? We're gonna do something. All jokes aside, you guys have seen me do it time and time again, 30 day challenges. I love the concept of building small little habits that you can build on over time. You might just start with 10 setups a day, you do that for 30 days, then suddenly you can do 20, 30. Before you know it, you got a six pack. Now as much as I wish I could say I created an app for this, no I didn't. I'm not smart enough technology wise, nor am I a big enough influencer. Oh my God, I hate the word influencer. But guys, I did find an app who I'm partnering with for this video and this is a great idea if you're traveling, if you want a personal trainer, if you're a new mom and you just want a pretty interface to do 30 day challenges like I do, there's an app for that. What's your goal? Get tone, lose weight, build muscle. Let's build muscle. I am a female. What is your focus part? Let's do the butt. Choose your fitness level. Advanced. <laughs> like I really hope I would be classified in that. You can get a paid membership or you can start with free trial, which I got a link down below for free trial for you guys. Set you a reminder as many days, but you might have Sunday as a rest day, which is still part of a challenge and you just mark the days. You can go find a pers personalized program for you. You can start small, you can start big. I'll have a link down to 30 day fitness challenge down below so you can start a free trial. Let's just get fit together in 2020 and build those sustainable healthy habits that are gonna last a long time because we're not about yo-yo dieting. The only yo-yos we use are literal yo-yos because those can be fun. A back to our program. From my favorite like Italian local bakery here in Toronto is this walnut whole grain toast day. Oh no, Tess is bread. I haven't even toasted it. Almond butter, uh, goji berries, some coconut flakes, some cacao, cook nibs, I don't really know how to say them. And then we got some Brazil nut, coconut yogurt, added some protein powder. Unfortunately, most vegan yogurts I noticed are really low in protein, unlike uh, dairy ones. Uh, so there's a little hack, it adds some flavor to it. Frozen berries. Now my usual go-to thing to do for <clears throat> breakfast is I wanna eat easy and pack as many things as I can nutrient wise. Brazil nuts I hear are really good and you should have a couple a month at least. I have stuff like smoothies or oatmeal bowls that I can just throw a bunch of stuff in and I want it easy. Yes I can make this really glamorous but no I don't want to think in breakfast I just want it mindless. So this is like a fancy adult PB&J. Mm. If look at that quality of that bread. That my friends is heaven. Pack for breakfast, make them really easy and just throw in as much nutrients as you can. So at least at the end of the day, if everything else goes to crap, I'm like, you got, you got some balance in your life, girl. And breakfast has been my first thing over the last year of like, as I slowly transition into veganism, I'm not ever going to call myself a vegan. I maybe will be comfortable calling myself a full plant-based. I'll dive more into that later on in the video. Until then, guys. <sighs> mm. Sun is shining, I got bread, got you. We gonna have a good day. <laughs> I'm gonna stop doing that, it's so annoying and so cringy, but it's just like how my soul feels when I eat. This a victory. When I was in Sweden this summer, I got introduced to these. They are like a Swedish energy drink and they're way better than Monster and Red Bull. The ingredients seem a bit better. BCA meets energy drink. And I feel having BCAs as I'm going a bit more vegan is a nice thing to have. And then caffeine because I have a problem. I am so happy. This is a struggle to get into Canada. This was just like a few seconds of me holding my camera and being like, guilty, think of something funny, think of something funny, and it was just like literally like crickets. We collide, we break down, caving in to our doubts, faces filled with sin. When words are said, we'll regret. I can see the fire that we made just to save us. When we try to make up for never letting go, said the things we promised not to say that we break up just to start all over. I 
I love IQ Foods here in Toronto because first, it's local, seasonal, and sustainable. So all the products they have are from like local farms. Everything's recyclable, decomposed, so all their packaging. It's like $15 per bowl, but honestly, that's cheap in Toronto. Help me, I'm poor. Which is sad, but that's just Toronto. I have salmon, and I said like, this is why I say I'm not going vegan vegan, is I just want my diet to be sustainable, as good for the environment as possible, really good for me, but I can still enjoy foods. I want, when I go traveling, if it's like a beautiful steak restaurant, I want the flexibility to have that steak. I hate the idea of mass farming, so I anytime I do take a meat product, I want it to be local, sustainable, and I'm really limiting. So right now, when I'm not traveling, not going to those restaurants, it's like two to three times a week, I'm trying to have salmon, a local salmon, fresh caught, because I feel salmon's like a really good healthy one, as I maybe will eliminate that, but I'm just not knowledgeable enough on the vegan diet. Completely eliminating all meat products could have a negative effect. And so if you are gonna go vegan, I would say like do it progressively. That's why this is like beginner. The cookie's vegan. I never want to fully eliminate every food. I think it's just non-sustainable, non-good for you foods you have to maybe just be more mindful of. Like, no, we don't need a steak every day. Here is we got a local farmed salmon. We got broccoli, we got yams, we got some watercress. I think it's called pretty. We got a miso dressing, broccoli with you guys. But like I said, so don't in the next one, if I show me traveling and I'm a nice steak restaurant, I have a steak, that's why. Knowing I'm doing it that way, I know this is more sustainable and I can do for a long period of time. Versus if I was like, I'm going 100% vegan tomorrow, plant-based. Vegan chocolate chip cookie, let's see. Vegan bake, oh no, that's gonna break. She's thick. That's how I like my cookies. Oh yeah. No way you could tell it's vegan. When this matches that. When you really need one, it's when it never opens. Hydration level, fancy. I never buy bottled water, but I always found myself buying carbonated water. Reduce some plastic. We bought a soda stream, and I, within two months, I don't even know how much money. And drink out a glass, and you're just like, elegance. Time to make for supper is, I start with like one staple, and I build from it. Here's some options we have. Okay, we got like truffle pasta, we got rice, we got a uh, black bean pasta, whole, different rice blend. Then we're gonna go look at sauces. I got like half a pasta sauce, we got curry, we have a Bernays sauce, um, and then we just kind of piece it together. Like obviously, be like. So I'm either gonna make a pasta or a curry-esque sauce. Let your mind wander for a little bit. What do you think I'm gonna pick? I have no idea. <laughs> This is what is nice, uh, not to live alone. Cause then you're like, honey, would you like butter chicken? Uh, truffle pasta, what are you feeling like? Oh honey, what you feel like? I'm like, I don't know what you feel like. What you feel like? What do you feel like? I don't know why I'm shocked. I don't know why I'm in the fridge thrown together. We got like a tofu butter chicken on whole grain rice and roasted asparagus. 
because delicious and healthy. Technically this sauce, I should have had some kind of stock, like vegetable chicken stock. So I've never made this. I have no idea. I put the lime on because that's what fancy restaurants do and we live a fancy life. I've made butter chicken before, but this, this is a first. So <laughs> let's give this a go. That's a shot you want, isn't it? Ha, 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 oh my God, it was so hot. Ha, ha, one minute, take two. Right. I'm not mad at this. It's got everything you need. It's simple. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, I found the recipe. You guys should follow my cookbook, ebook. I would have sold my soul to you guys. No, it's so a recipe. You can probably do it better uh, had you had the right ingredients. But you know what? For a Wednesday night. Sorry, that was really annoying. So this weekend, there was a Swedish festival here in Toronto. So I went and picked up these Swedish chocolates. They got all the different flavors. Swedish candy and chocolate is the best. There might have been a top layer before, and it might be, ooh, which one do I want? I can't understand what any of the wording is. Ooh, which was the one I really liked? What was this one? That, ooh, here we go. And another reason why I'll never go fully vegan is I can't give up chocolate. I don't have to have it every day. I try to have good quality stuff. Chocolate, it just, ooh, feeds my soul. The odd chocolate isn't the end of the world. Do, 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 do. Let's try this bad boy. And apparently my taste preference is Swedish. Swedish fish, Swedish energy drinks, Swedish chocolate, Swedish men. <laughs> See this black screen? Here's me editing, realizing I didn't film the conclusion. So here's the conclusion like two weeks later. Moral of the story, here is my mission of going more plant-based, vegan. My goal and like ultimate life would be be mostly vegan plant-based when I'm on my own, when I travel, not be, when I can eat like actual authentic cuisines, and then also having like sustainable local meats that are from like hunted, farm, or like organic, and just, I don't need as much of it. And so that kind of be a treat a couple times a week. And then that's my goal for the next few months. And then we'll see where I progress from there. I just want my diet to be good for me, that I can experience the world and good for the environment as much as possible. And I think if we all aim for those three things, we're doing pretty good. So I will bring you guys on this journey from the, during this full day of eatings and then see where we end up. I wanna show you guys cuisine and I am so passionate about food and I think we shouldn't fear food and we shouldn't think of it as just fuel. A lot of religion, a lot of, sorry, uh, different societies think of it almost like a religion and it does, it builds us and it's a time of family and love and I think we need to be better here in North America of bringing that kind of concept of love to food and I think that's where a lot of our problems stem from it is we think we're not allowed to love food and it be a family social thing. So hopefully with this series Series, you see a bit more of that and so comment down below what you guys want this series to be called because I am at a loss right now It's full day of eating this is full day of eating number one. Let me know what you want. That is the video Thank you for tuning in like always have a great day. Go pet a dog